Hey, my name is Adoma, and I am the Afro jazz singer who made a break by being creative with other people's original songs. But I have put out my own original content, so check out Afroba online. Um, uh, aside that, I've been doing music for professionally for about a year, and it's been amazing. I just got nominated for the VGMA's on Song Artist. I'm something quirky about myself. I, I have a sweet tooth, but interestingly, I hate chocolate and cake. When I was a child, I was very imaginative, so I wanted to do uh, quite a number of things, and it kept changing like on a six-month basis. I wanted to be a flight attendant, I wanted to be a kindergarten teacher, I wanted to be a dancer at a point, I wanted to be an actress, then I wanted to be an archaeologist, and then I wanted to be a journalist. Um, but I don't. I, I think yeah, it is. It's vastly different from what I'm doing right now. But one thing that runs across is that I've always had music as my biggest passion, though I didn't think it would be a career, but I'm glad it ended up being that. Um, I'm half Nigerian, half Ghanaian, was born, bred, raised in Nigeria, um, moved to Ghana in 2004 and then I went to Wesley Girls High School and then went on to study journalism at Ghana Institute of Journalism and stumbled into music quite by accident but it's been the biggest highlight of my life. Um, music for me like I said has always been my biggest passion, it's been my best friend I'd say because like, growing up I didn't necessarily have a lot of friends and a lot of people that I used to talk to so it's, it's always been there for me for a very long time. Um, I've learned a lot, um, very new, but it's been a very interesting period for me this past year and I'm still hoping to you know, go ahead and break more ground. Um, being a very shy, quiet, reserved child growing up and even most of my teen years, uh, my biggest challenge has always been my fear of stages and crowds. And combining that with my career right now was a huge deal. Um, I, I, the type of person who would break out into sweats and just start hyperventilating when I have to do anything in front of crowds. But I, I think it's, it's helped me a lot. The, doing, doing what I love has helped me overcome that challenge. And, it's still bad sometimes, but when I focus on what I need to focus on, that's, and that is the music, it's not as bad as it is. So. I'm pretty sure I'd be the same old Adama, and pretty sure I would have had like the same likes and dislikes that I do have. And I probably may have tried, ventured into something else that I'm doing now, but I'm very sure I'd have come back full circle into doing exactly what I'm doing right now. So, yeah. Well, I, what, what I would like to share is probably the principle I run my life by. And I just think it's, it will help people if you dare to be different and to be you no matter what and you have a positive outlook about life, you are basically going to be unstoppable. So keep that in mind in whatever it is you're doing.